Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started to roll out another Secure Boot DBX security update, and this started rolling out on the 6th of December, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, this is for a whole lot of different versions of the Windows operating system. And if we head over to Windows Updates, and under Update History, this is the update, KB5012170. I received the update this morning in my region on the 7th and it was installed automatically and downloaded and installed automatically in the background. So this is an automatic compulsory update and you do not need to restart your device after the update has been installed. And this is the second time that Microsoft has rolled out the same update since August. So if we just scroll down here to August in my update history. Yeah, it was the update 5012170, which was installed on the 10th of August in my region. So this is the second time over the last couple of months that Microsoft has rolled out that same security update for the Windows operating system. Now, um, to find out a little bit more what this update is addressing, we can just click on Learn More, which will take us to the release notes, which haven't been updated since the 9th of August. And that's for KB5012170. Now, this update applies to Windows Server 2012, Windows 8.1, and Windows Server 2012 R2. A whole lot of different versions of Windows 10. Um, I see they haven't listed Windows 10 22H2, but yeah, we get Windows 11, the 21H2 original release, but I've received the update on my 22H2 Windows 11 system. So um, although I'm not seeing the update yet on my Windows 10 device, um, it will be rolling out for Windows 10 version 22H2. Yeah, we get Windows Server 2022, Azure Stack HCR, and then Azure Stack Databox. Now, this is what Microsoft is saying about um, the update. It says Windows devices that, that have Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, UEFI for short, as many of you would know, based firmware can run with Secure Boot enabled. The Secure Boot Forbidden Signature Database, DBX, prevents UEFI modules from loading. This update adds modules to the DBX. So that's what the update is doing. Now this is what the update is addressing. A security feature bypass vulnerability exists in Secure Boot. So that's what the issue is. And this is what can happen if your system is not patched. An attacker who successfully exploited the vulnerability might bypass Secure Boot and load untrusted software. Now this is what the update is is actually addressing and actually fixing and this is what the update does after it is installed on your system. This security update addresses the vulnerability by adding the signatures of the known vulnerable UFI modules to the DBX. So that's what the update does and um, as mentioned this is an automatic compulsory update but the only problem with this update is when it did roll out in August this update caused numerous issues for Windows. Um, it caused issues for BitLocker recovery, which was a big one, as I did post on when it first rolled out in August. Um, it was failing to install with error 0x800F0922, and it was causing boot problems um, after the update has been installed. So I certainly hope that we don't start getting the same problems once again, because although this is um, addressing security issues, as mentioned, um, in the Secure Boot DBX and adds those signatures and um, it did cause a whole lot of problems and um, when it did roll out in August. So um, unfortunately though, it is a automatic compulsory update. So we just hope that obviously there are no um, known issues that start rolling out and start affecting the Windows, different Windows devices. But just wanted to let you know in case you had seen that update or you weren't aware, that's what the update is all about and that's what the update is addressing. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.